So uh, today we have with us Ravenna Martinez. Am I pronouncing it right? Tujolo. Tujolo. Yes, my family name. Okay, okay. Uh, so uh, are we're here to make her some questions. She's in the jury of uh, long feature films. So my first question is, what do you think of our festival from your experience? Well, I had been here for the third time in the film festival. And it is always for me a wonderful experience. And also for my children, because 10 years ago, my children were here with me. And um, they were so ecstatic meeting the youth, doing things uh, in the Camera Cisano. Even they made a film, and it was actually their first time to go to a film festival that time. And it's an unforgettable experience for them, as well as for me. And it's uh, something that you always want to come back. You always want to come back because of the beautiful uh, experiences and memories that we have of this festival. Okay, thank you so much. So uh, now I want you to tell us something about your festival, uh, Universal Kids Film Festival. Uh, Universal Kids Film Festival is only 10 years old and um, it is an advocacy festival, meaning we advocate for peace. So when we choose the films, we choose the films that are inspiring. Films which even are very old, we don't mind, even if they are not new, uh, as long as it can inspire children, uh, we, we bring them in our programs because we work on the principle that an inspired society will never create war. Yeah. So uh, we have, uh, for example, short uh, films documentaries and uh, feature films because the festival is small it's boutique we have very small uh, uh, how do you call this program but we also incorporate uh, children coming to the festival to interact with the local children to exchange interchange culture to interchange ideas and also to inspire each other you see Thank you. So my next question, since you have talked about the two festivals, is what are the similarities and the differences between those festivals, in your opinion? Well, there are uh, very strong similarities in the sense that this festival you have actually inspires a lot of young people and even the old. Uh, and. For us also, we struggle to be like that. Yeah. We look at your festival and we like we try to model, you know, our festival from your festival oh, because uh, there are so many elements there that we would like to have, but because we are very small, we do it in the smaller scale. Uh, the difference is actually that. Uh, here you have the cooperation of everybody. You have the ministry, you have the, uh, some associations uh, that come, everybody, and you have a wide network of young people coming just wanting to do something. Uh, for us, we are still, still very small, minuscule compared to yours, but we try also to bring the youth to come and do something. We try to involve the, the institutions, but so far, uh, we are not yet very successful in that aspect. We still have to work hard on that. So, and of course you have a very, very strong leader who, who has vision, a very good vision of how the festival yeah. is supposed to be. And that is, you're very lucky that you have Dimitris Ispiru to do this. Yeah. and also the people like you and his family. I think everybody is into this festival. We feel the same. We feel like a big family. Yes. Uh, you have Mr. Theodisius there and, and uh, 
uh, Lito, yeah, Lito. Uh, going, you know, uh, founding this this festival, and all the family, friends, and everybody, young people all over Pyrgos and all over uh, Greece, coming to do something nice, and that is just something we can envy. Oh, that's really sweet. So my last question is. Uh, in your festival you give so much value to peace so do you want to comment on uh, that uh, the war that's happening between Ukraine and Russia and that situation between our countries Greece and Turkey which is really disappointing um, I would say uh, I I'm an artist and I would always think universally you know in in the world there is such a thing as universal truths you know like man going against man this is from time immemorial you can never avoid that uh, there will always be this conflict between men and therefore we should work towards making people know each other to know your neighbor because if you know your neighbor you will appreciate that person you will not be fearful of him right so Uh, I think that uh, this fe the, the festivals are really very important and instrumental in bringing people, young people together especially, so that you can bridge the gap of your culture, if there's cultural gap, or the, the, you can cooperate to make each other um, uh, economically good, not to, because you are weaker, I, might, I should, you know, swallow you up. Yeah. No, if you are weaker, I should share what I have so that we can, we can progress together. So it's a matter of understanding and sharing each other's resources that should, uh, in a way, help prevent war. Uh, so this is for peace. You can never really talk about peace if you have so much and the other person is hungry. Uh, therefore, this can cause you know, mistrust between you I have so much he might come and steal from me and you oh he has so much I should you know I should steal from him so but if there is some kind of equality or sharing not being so greedy so much then probably we can hope for better peace in this world Yeah, it's really important what you say because there is no hate between the people. It's between the presidents and the strong men. It, the, the, for example, um, we have friends on both sides. Yeah. So I cannot condemn that other friend because of this other friend. Or you cannot condemn this friend because of that other friend. Um, what I, I would like to communicate is that we should try to learn each other's values, culture, and, 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 and aims so that we can share to probably achieve that aim together, not in hunger, but in sharing our resources. And in my tribe, my, my father belongs to a tribe, and uh, we have uh, the spirit of the tribe is that riches, cannot be measured by how much you own but how much you share with full heart uh, that is the measure of of riches and if people will abide by this principle i i have very small resources but i'm sharing everything i have with you then i am rich okay thank you so much